To select the appropriate presets for the knee examination, we will select the high frequency linear 14.5 probe, the musculoskeletal application, and the knee preset. Further changes to the image can be done by opening the favorites drawer to make changes to the depth, the frequency, the overall gain, or the number of focal points. The most common image initially done at the onset of a knee examination is to evaluate the structures and the suprapatellar region. The patient is positioned, as you see here, in a supine position, the towel under the knee to apply some slight flexion and keep it from locking out in full extension. With the patient properly positioned and slight flexion in the knee, we place the probe in a longitudinal orientation and the ideal image should visualize two bony landmarks. As you'll see the cortical margin of the patella and deeper to the left you see the bright hyperechoic margin of the femoral cortex and in between those two margins we visualize the prefemoral fat pad, the anechoic kind of irregular shape of the suprapatellar bursa with normal physiologic fluid, superficial to that the fibers of the quadriceps tendon as they travel down to attach onto the patella. To select the appropriate presets for the foot and ankle examination, we first select the appropriate probe. The high frequency linear 14.5 is most optimal. We choose the MSK application and the plantar fascia preset. Further changes to the image can be done by opening the favorites drawer to make changes to the depth, the frequency, the overall gain, and the number of focal points. Another very common image in the foot and ankle protocol is to visualize the plantar fascia for your patients with heel pain. Typically, patient position would be best described to have the patient prone on the table with their feet hanging off the edge of the table. You can also alter that by doing what we've done here, asking the patient to kneel into a chair with arms on it to stabilize themselves, thus exposing the heel to the, to the probe. With the patient properly positioned to expose the plantar aspect of the foot, we place the probe in a longitudinal orientation at the calcaneal margin and then slightly rotate it in an oblique orientation to visualize the medial attachment of the plantar fascia. We visualize the convexity of the calcaneus. Superficial to that, you see the tapering attachment of the plantar fascia as it extends from left to right into the midfoot the hypochoic region deep to the fibers of the plantar fascia are the deep flexor muscles of the foot. Going back to the left side of the image, superficial to the plantar fascia tapered to its attachment is the hyperechoic mixed echoes of the heel pad.